first thing is, I'm gonna give your ass some results. I'm an unapologetic, fun, tough, badass trainer who loves his job dearly, who has gone through so much adversity to get here. I can understand where you're coming from. I grew up in a city called Riviera Beach. I have five brothers, four sisters. Where we're from, we call it the Raw for a reason. It was a gang community. A lot of people that I was friends with growing up was gang associated. I was going through a lot of identity problems trying to figure out who I am and who I wanted to become. And I had to learn that through the trials and tribulations of what I went through as a kid. My mom, unfortunately, she went in and out of drugs. She didn't know if I was home or if we argued, I would just spend a night somewhere else. You know, I used to run away from home. I used to spend the night in bushes and then grab my backpack, go to school the next day. It was rough, rough up until I got to high school. I met a lady named Tammy Petranton. She is my adopted mother. I played volleyball with her son, Joshua Frazier. One weekend, me and my mom, we argued, and I ran away. Then he said, hey, come spend the weekend with me. I spent the weekend and never went back home. But without Tammy, you know, I would have been more susceptible to temptations. So she pressed it hard on me. Don't quit. If you fail, just get back up. It's okay to fail. If you didn't fail, you never tried. I started to find a lane for myself, and then I started to find an identity for myself. I went to college at University of Central Florida. One weekend, I go home visiting family, and Josh, he is working out in the garage. I hadn't seen him in a couple months. This guy's shredded, super shredded. I'm like, what is he doing? He's doing P90X. He's doing Tony Horton's program. We start doing it together. I get in great shape. The program is amazing. Go back to school, and then I just switch my major. So I, I ended up getting a bachelor's in exercise science, a minor in psychology, and that's how training found me. You know, even though I didn't have the best childhood with my biological mom, instead of being angry, I just became forgiving. We had just started talking to each other and we just started becoming a family and, and, and I didn't get enough time with her. My mom passed three years ago and one of the things I wish was my mom to see a better side of life and my mom, you know, my mom, my mom was so obese that, it's sad, but my mom was so obese that she couldn't walk more than 20 steps and my brother was going down the same path. My brother was already in the army. He has PTSD and he suffers depression and he was obese. I told him, I can't lose you like we lost mommy. So I forced him to move to Los Angeles. I would force him to get up at five in the morning, to train with me, to eat like me, to think like me. Two and a half months later, almost lost 60 pounds, still losing weight now. Helping my brother lose all that weight, and it kind of felt like I was there with my mom helping her. And at just seeing what fitness and getting in shape did for him, it inspired my entire family. If I couldn't impact my family, how do I expect to impact the world? It just makes me feel even better that this was the job that I was destined to do. So when I moved to Los Angeles, things happened fast for me. I started working with celebrities and pro athletes. So the noise around the city, like, who is this guy? Who is this trainer? Entertainers started reaching out to me, and things just started happening fast. And then it led down to my name being in Carl Deichler's ear, which was awesome. So then things just started progressing from there. Carl gave me this blue ocean of opportunity and started working with Beachbody, being a trainer, dropping six weeks of the work four weeks of the prep. When I first started, I didn't know what to expect. Uh, I just thought, okay, yeah, I'm gonna put on some workouts, I'm gonna do a workout video, and cool, that's it. No, there was a lot more to this. There was the summits, the super weekends, so many events, the media outlets. It's just so much happened all at once. This is awesome. It really is.
And, you know, being a super trainer and being able to reach so many people, I can't even describe how this feels, but it's just knowing that I'm inspiring someone, I'm motivating someone, I'm getting people to see their better selves, and just helping them understand their bodies better and better has been a great opportunity. Just to see how all this came together in literally the two years, it just happened so fast. It's a blessing, and I'm very grateful for it. Welcome to 645. What's up? I only got 45 minutes of your time, so we can't mess around. How 645 came about was after I dropped six weeks of the work, and when I was looking at all the results, they were amazing, but that has so many messages and people who like, ah, oh, I don't know if this is for me. I wanna do this. Uh, it seems very intense. It's about working at your level. And so 645 came about was when I thought about creating this program to where you, it literally, you can start wherever you are. We have a modifier, we really harness and focus on fundamental movements, and then each stage we begin to progress it. So 645 was based off of being able to educate and, and motivate more people than just the people who love extreme workouts. I'm gonna motivate you, I'm gonna get you amped, let's work. I go back a lot of times and I think about my mom. You know, there are a lot of times where, you know, I would have to drive to the front of the restaurant just to drop my mom off and then I would go park in the parking lot because she couldn't walk from the car to the restaurant. And so I think of every mother, every father who feels like they can't be who they were or can't walk anymore. And I think of my mom. So this is what this program's about. It's like for all those mothers, for all those fathers, those grandparents who want to move better, this is what this is for. And so it's a tribute to my mother and uh, hopefully she's proud about that. My work is purpose. My job is to serve someone. And so it's never been about me. It's always been about you. So as long as I'm showing up for you, I don't want you to ever feel like you have to walk in this world alone. Hopefully we can do this together. And so that's where my work ethic comes from because I want to continue to help, continue to lead, continue to inspire. Let's get it. Come on, get it.